see, give us some rich metadata about everything on the surface. So here we see, when Doug puts his finger down, now the system is saying, hey, I see a finger there. It is saying, I know that is a finger. Here's its shape, here's its size, here's its orientation, things like that. Rich metadata about fingers. If we were to take a tagged object and place that down on the surface, we get the same thing. Here's where it is, here's its shape, here's its size, and here's its orientation. So as he rotates that, you can see the little arrow will rotate with it. Cool. So surface input is obviously... So surface, the buttons are touch enabled. Are they multi-touch? They are multi-touch. So I can rotate in black and white at the same time? I think you can. Look at that. So, same functionality, but now running on Microsoft Surface. So that, that's neat, Doug. Uh, what do you guys think? So in like 30 seconds, he took a, a WPM sample before he goes to Surface. So, Doug, as usual, you're, you're very charming, and the audience loves it. Uh, I can scale it, rotate it, move it fully functioning, one line of code. That's really cool. So, all right. so I've got this uh, well-designed uh, user interface here that allows me to modify those properties. Now you can see that the slider is all the way down, so that means that we have very, very little deceleration or very little friction, so it takes hardly any effort to get one of these things to the other side of the screen. But I can modify that by cranking this deceleration way up, and now when I push it, it's pretty hard to get one across the screen. So, that's okay. okay. Same thing is true. I've disabled rotation. I can now no longer rotate it. But notice that I can still move and I can still scale easily, all just by setting a Boolean property. Uh, I can enable rotation but turn off scaling. And so now I've got a fixed size object that I can then move across the screen. So those are three of the very uh, easiest properties that Scatterview exposes to allow you to I'll give you some water, and I'll build you a house. A house boat. <laughs> Is that the sail or the roof? Okay. It's both. Dual purpose? All right. And can you sign it? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? the same surface list box in here for displaying the content, but notice that I just, there's nowhere to say select this photo, interact with this photo kind of thing. I actually brought props of my own, and what I have here are some cards. I'll give you the t-shirt, and this is basically, I don't know how well you guys can see on this camera here, but these are just plastic cards with identity tags on the back of them. This one indicates uh, like a 4x6 print. This one indicates a greeting card. And so if I just set that down on the surface, I now have a template laid out for me, giving me instructions as the person in the store, telling me to drag a photo here to create a greeting card. I can play too? Yeah, absolutely, it's multi-user. So I can drop that right on top of my greeting card. And now instead of having a button to tell me to rotate or to clip, I can actually directly interact with the content move the item around, get the clipping and the rotation just exactly like I want it, and then when I'm ready, I hit the buy it button, and it tells me to take this card up to the counter to complete my purchase. So this is a surfaceized version using Scatterview and Tag Visualizer with a much more rich interactive uh, interface. Cool, that's awesome. What do you guys think? That's right. Um, so, let, let me, yeah. so when you said change materials, you don't actually change the index or the fraction index, right? You just no, change no, no, no. the look. It's the same. This part of the 